everybody if i was a guy and i was totally new to fragrances this is these are the three fragrances i would start out with to build my all-star team okay and i'm only going to be talking about the standard designer fragrances the things that you see when you're at macy's or whatever because usually you're not you're not going to run into these ever at the mall for the most part like and i'm not even talking nordstrom bloomingdale's i'm just talking about your average mall and you're like let me go to the fragrance part of that you know what i'm saying i'll do this with feminine scents as well okay so what i would do is i would pick out the versatile the king of versatility fragrance pretty much i'm like i can wear this whenever it will never do me wrong your leader you know so blue de chanel is the one i'd reach for versatile fresh grapefruit fragrance Next, I would go with the opposite of this. Okay, so since this one's fresh, this one's clean, I'm going to want something that's sweet or spicy, something that's louder, that has um, a longer scent trail, has great projection, and it's a fragrance that's going to get me noticed. It's bold and it's just unapologetic. I would pick Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf to fit into that mold. Okay, so we have Blue de Chanel. We have Spice Bomb Extreme, Victor and Rolf. And lastly, to round off the team, I'm going to go for something that's kind of in between both of these. Something that's not too fresh, not too sweet, a little bit more intimate. Because these, like this performs really, really well. This already has like a decent amount of projection, longevity and all that. But I'm going to want something that's intimate and sexy okay this one's bold sexy i want something that is soft sexy especially like if i'm trying to get down to business you know what i'm saying so i would go with le nuit de l'homme by yves saint laurent so we have our point guard and no, i'm playing we have blue de chanel right here to lead the team and then we have your powerhouse fragrance with spice bomb extreme and then we have your silent seducer you know what i mean we, you have your sexy time fragrance with le nuit de l'homme so that's how i would start it out if there's any people that are literally that that this is what you're looking for you're like damn i don't know what to get what should i start with what like how do i balance things out a three similar to these it doesn't have to be exactly like this but i mean this is a pretty solid lineup absolutely all of these are extremely sexy and i feel like if you run into a girl or a guy if like whoever you're interested in like that doesn't like a fresh fragrance you're like great i got a sweet one perfect you know what i mean or if you're like if they think this is too loud even better i have an intimate one you know so you got options you have options now if i was a girl that was only into feminine scents this is the lineup that i would go for ladies so i'd be looking in sephora all to all that kind of stuff and i would pick we're gonna start with that queen of versatility right you know what i'm gonna go with this one actually this one's really really sexy good girl by carolina herrera she does it all she does everything let me spray this because this this makes my eyes roll back when i just oh fuck god this shit still has a hold on me it's been months oh my god sorry i, I, have, to, I have to focus now but okay 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 we're in it we're in it this ladies please just try try wearing this try it i'm like on my knees like <laughs> try this shit it's so good this is this is the person leading our team right here is good girl by carolina herrera i can wear her all four seasons i can wear her to any occasion she's long lasting so she easily over to me like when my sister wears this she gets over eight hours and I honestly smell it over 10 hours on her and she doesn't even spray a lot, but she sprays it on her clothes. Okay, so this is just your sexy, does everything fragrance, school, work, partying, whatever, right? Next, I would go with something that, because this also works really well for clubbing, I am going to go with Sea Intense by Armani. And I don't have Scandal by Jean Paul Gaultier, which is a very, it's like a, a sweet honey fragrance. That would be the clubbing fragrance, right? But to be honest, this works really, really well in the club, even though this is versatile, it's a bit sweeter. But I would balance this out because this is like fun, youthful, sexy with bad bitch sexy right here. And oh my God, 
this is also the great thing about both of these fragrances is they both do it all so you're both you're getting two versatile fragrances for however you're feeling that day so if you're feeling like you know if you're like you know what i kind of want to break the rules a little bit i want to be a little bit more rebellious i want to be more of a bad bitch then this is the fragrance for that it smells like black currant and vanilla so like blackberries and vanilla this one has over 30 notes in it there is a clusterfuck of notes in good girl by carolina herrera but and i can't even tell you like it smells like this like it it's there's so it, it just smells like sexiness it smells orgasmic okay you have to trust me on that even though it's labeled as white floral don't base it off that because it's not an old lady tuberose type of scent by any means by any means but this one is more fruity dark but very very sexy you know what i mean if you're wearing sundresses with this um and you're going to work this is what you wear when you're wearing like all black you know what i'm saying i was like wearing like you know when you're talking and it's ahead of your brain for a second and i was just like i did an extra <laughs> word but it, nothing came out <laughs> what the hell but yeah so this is the fold to that. So this is like your leather jacket. You're going to like a lounge with your girls or your friends or whatever. You're going to like a bar. You're having dinner, all that kind of stuff. And you're looking sexy and sleek. This is the fragrance right here. Man, man, this one. This one gets the eyes rolling. And I have to say it in every video because this is the way I think about this fragrance. It's Lara Croft. This is Tomb Raider in a bottle right here. So we have... We have freaking Miss Universe and the bad bitch right here. And lastly, I would even it out. Oof. Both of these are kind of fresh. I was, no lie, I was going to reach for a light blue intense because this is good for the high heat and it's inoffensive. Right? But you know what? We're going to be a little bit more daring. We're going to be a little bit more daring. And daring. But we're going to go with Mon Guerlain. EDP and this is your fragrance for even though all of these pretty much work for date night this is like the formal occasion I'm gonna get dressed up and this isn't about like you wear this fragrance when you're not feeling sexy but you're feeling beautiful you're feeling elegant you're feeling regal you know what I'm saying so you all know what kind of occasions I'm talking about when you're feeling like a million bucks and you're just you look great, you feel great, and then you also smell great with a fragrance like Mon Guerlain EDP. This is class in a bottle. It smells like lavender. There's some vanilla in this. And it's that fragrance that's just like, when you smell it, you're like, damn, that's that's a woman. You know what I mean? Like, she is just, she's got her shit together. That is what this, what this fragrance reminds me of. So if you kind of compare between the three that I chose for, you know, like, the guys versus the three for the girls. The girls ones or the, the the ladies ones are more versatile. These kind of are more daring in each of their categories. But nonetheless, like if you own these three, whatever you decide to do that week, that night, anything last minute, you're covered. You are absolutely covered. So I hope that kind of helped with anybody that was uh, a bit new um, that needed some clarity or was like kind of on the fence about things and you know what if i can just make a quick swap a quick sub out on my team for the girls i would say yeah i would say let's say if um Mon Guerlain is a bit you're like that's still a bit fresh it's the lavender and you want something that's more like nighttime-esque then i would say versace crystal noir i do prefer this one better but then I could see this in like a, a sexy long dress. Um, it's just, this is a gorgeous fragrance that's grown on me. But I don't like it as much as Mon Guerlain, but it fits that mold a little bit better. Anyways, let me know that it, like, let me know in the comments if you had to do it all over again, only with standard designer fragrances, what would be your starting lineup? What would be the three that you would choose to lead you in a battle? You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I hope you have a great night. Um, great day, great weekend, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.